video but it just deleted itself so I have to start again hate my life hey everyone and welcome to my channel today I am doing another book haul for you and yes if you're wondering I did big time fail project 10 books I think I maybe got through two or three books before I actually bought more so I suck and yeah so this is gonna be my second try filming this video so if this one doesn't work then I give up for today and we are just going to jump right on into it. First book that I'm going to show you is called Semi Sweet, and this is a novel by Royzen Mini, a uh, novel of love and cupcakes. So I bought this at Valley Village for like 85 cents, and it was super cheap, so that's how I got it, and also because I love cupcakes, and I thought this would be like a fun light read for the summertime or something like that. I don't really know what it's about. So that is the first book that I bought. Second book that I got was Weekend in Paris, and this is by Robin Sisman. And just like the last one, I bought this one because I thought it would be something fun to read in the summertime. And it was super cheap, and that is the reason why I bought it. I don't really know what it's about. It's about a girl who moves to Paris, I think, and or spends a weekend there. And she has a weekend in Paris. That sounds pretty much right. Next book that I grabbed was The Iron King by Julie Kagawa and this is the first book in the Iron Fae series. It goes I think Iron King, Iron Queen, Iron Daughter, and Iron Knight and I have heard really good things about this series so I was really excited when I found it for like $1.99 and I'm really excited to read it but I have to get the rest of the books first before I start this series because I like to own all the books before I get into something like yeah. this. Next two books I got are by the same author, and I bought them not only because the author is Canadian, but she's also from Nova Scotia, and her books are all set in Cape Breton, and Rita I believe... McNeil. It's not Rita McDeal. McDeal. Are you? Oh, honestly? Oh my god, what is life right what? now? What is this? What are this? What is this? The books are set Yay. in Glace Bay, Cape Breton, which is where my grandmother is from, so I thought, frig it, why not? I'm gonna get gonna get me some of these books. And the first one is Relative Happiness, and it is by Leslie Crew. And this is actually a signed copy. So there's her signature for anybody who wanted to know. And I don't really know what this book is about. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and say I pretty much don't know what any of these books are about because I don't really like to know what the books are about before I read them. So that was the first one that I got by her. And then the second one I got is called Ava Comes Home. And I think that these are books that will be good to read in the summertime. They're, you know, they're not overly big and there's like an ocean in the background. So that means summertime. <laughs> yeah, of course, because in the in the winter oceans disappear they do they freeze no they yeah. don't whatever the next book that i grabbed was a midsummer's night dream by william shakespeare and this is the play in book form i read i think the 12th night and hamlet by shakespeare but they that was a super long time ago so i figured i'd grab another one because it's really really little so maybe i'll like this i don't know probably won't i bought it I thought I'd try something new. Next book that I grabbed was 13 Little Blue Envelopes, and this is by Maureen Johnson. And let me just show you what Kaya did to this book right after I got it. Took a big bite out of it, and there's like teeth holes all through it, but she didn't actually get any of the pages, so it's all good. I've heard really good things about this book. It is a YA contemporary novel, so it'll be something fun to read. Sure. Next book that I grabbed, I got from a free shelf that we have at the school that I work at. Um, basically, they just add new books all the time, and you could just take them for free. And that book is a classic that I've never heard of, and I don't really know why I took it. But anyways, it's called Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gaskell. And it's a huge book, and it sounds super boring, so I don't really know why I got it. I got it because Jeff really likes classics, and I thought maybe he would like it, but then... After I picked it up and I like looked at it, I'm like, he definitely won't want this. So now I have it, and maybe someday, when I'm 80, I'll be like, oh, what is this, wives and daughters, and I will pick it up and read it. I don't know, maybe it's actually really good. It has a pretty high rating on Goodreads. The next two books that I grabbed are part of a series, and I got the first and third books. And that is the Wicked Lovely series, so I got the first book, Wicked Lovely, and the third book, Fragile Eternity by Melissa Marr. I haven't heard anything about these books, like, I mean, I never, I haven't heard a single thing. I just know who the author is, so I grabbed them. And I think they have relatively good ratings on Goodreads, so I figured, why the heck not? 
So I'm going to have to get the second book, but if you've read this series or any of the books in this series, let me know what you think of them because I'm pretty much going into this literally like super blind. Next book I also got off of the free shelf at school and that is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn or Gillian Flynn. Apparently it's Gillian, but I think it sounds better when you say Gillian. And she's the author of Gone Girl which I also haven't read and do not own, but I've heard really good things about her writing, so it was free, so I just grabbed it because I wanted it. Explanations. The next book that I grabbed is Tangled by Carolyn Mackler, and this is another one that I haven't heard anything about, but I know who the author is, so I figured I would grab it and give it a go. It's a hard-covered book. Oh, that's really cute. It's got cute little designs on the cover on the inside, and yeah, just a nice contemporary novel for when I'm in the mood for one, which is often. Next book that I got, I actually got from Jeff's sister Bev, who brought this for me for my birthday. And that book is The Walking Disaster by Jamie McGuire, which is the companion novel to Beautiful Disaster. And this is basically just told from a different person's perspective, from the guy's perspective. I actually haven't gotten around to reading Beautiful Disaster yet, but I've heard amazing things about it. So I figure when the time comes, when enough time has passed since I've read Beautiful Disaster, then I can read Walking Disaster and refresh the story from someone else's perspective. Plus it has a super awesome cover. It's really pretty. And I like it. I like it a lot. Next book I grabbed was Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foyer. Foer. Sour. I don't really know. First time I tried to say this, I called him Sarah because I can't read. Anyways, um, I've heard really good things about this book, like really, really good things, but every time that I've seen this book around, it's always had the movie cover, so I really like this one better, so I was waiting for it to come along, and so it came along. Next one I grabbed was Half Brother, and this is by Kenneth Opel, or Opel, as Jeff likes to say. I grabbed this at the Valley Village. It was $1.99, and I actually got it because I, always, I, I saw that Geraldine was reading it, and I thought, hmm, I kind of want that too, since it was so cheap. And it has a monkey on the cover, so I thought that's kind of cool. As many of you know that I am, like, obsessed with my cats, so I saw this book and I had to have it. It is called Your Cat's Just Not That Into You, and this is kind of like a spoof novel off of He's Just Not That Into You. This book is written just the exact same way as He's Just Not That Into You. It's like, um, just little entries and, like, lists and, like, letters and things like that. So it would be a really super quick read, and also it's, like, friggin' about cats, and that's hilarious. So I'm super excited about this one. What a sweet find. Love my life. Love my life. Next book that I grabbed was The Choice by Nicholas Sparks. I actually already own this book, but I lost my copy. I read this book last summer, and I don't remember where I put it afterwards. So I have to have all the Nicholas Sparks books, so I grabbed it because this is one of my favorite Nicholas Sparks books. If you haven't read this one yet, you definitely should. It's really, really good. Next book that I got was Bright Young Things by Anna Godfrey. I don't never know how to say her name. Anyway, she's the same person who wrote the Lux series, um, which I own the first book, but I haven't read yet. But this cover is so nice, so I thought I'd get it. And I've heard pretty good things about this author. I haven't heard anything really about this book. Oh my god. <laughs> I was really excited to get this one. I found it at Valley Village for like $1.99 or $2.99, and it's like hardcover, and it's brand new, so that was a sweet find. The next two I got Jeff's sister also brought for me for my birthday, and they are the last two books in the Hush Hush series, so it's the third and fourth, and the third would be Silence, and the fourth is Finale. I haven't started this series yet, but I'm, I've heard really good things about it. It's not at the top of my list, but at least these books look amazing on my shelf. Look how pretty they are. I'll get around to them eventually. <laughs> the next two books I actually got from Simon & Schuster Canada. I have a friend who works for Simon & Schuster and she asked if I would like to review books for them and I said, oh heck yeah, that sounds exactly like something that I would like to do. So she sent me two books as a thank you for being a reviewer and the first one is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare which is the third and final book in the Infernal Devices series. So I am only on the third book right now of the Mortal Instruments series, and I've heard you need to read the first three books of that series first before you start this one. So that's what I'm going to do, because I've heard this series is way better, and I'm really excited, and I already own Clockwork Angel, so I'm going to need to get Clockwork Prince before I start this one, but that was a pretty fun gift to get. And then the final book in my haul, another one I got from Simon & Schuster Canada, is The Program by Suzanne Young. And I'm really excited for this book because I've heard such amazing things about it. I think it's about 
like there's an epidemic of teens committing suicide so they send them into a program and I'm really excited to read it and I think I'm going to bump this up on my TBR list because I want to read it like now and they are wearing really fun yellow suits but I'm sure they're not having fun in those yellow suits because I think they're in like some sort of an asylum maybe I don't really know treatment center and that is all that I have for my haul I think that they're <laughs> I think that there were like 20 some books in that haul or something. I don't really feel like counting just yet. Alright. Go to the party instead and drink lots of food and do drugs. Instead of reading? No, stay home and do your homework like a good girl. What is happening? I'm not sure when my next haul will be, but knowing me, it will probably be soon. So I don't have a lot of disposable income for books anymore because the dog is taking all my money from me. Grr. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Say bye, Jeff. H2O is better. Bye. <laughs> Jeff. I'm so mad. If you hear Jeff in the background, that's because Jeff is in the background. That didn't need to be said at all. <laughs> What? Inception. I don't know. We have to wait longer for craft dinner now because I'm an idiot. The books are set in Glace Bay Crate. Holy moly. Great. 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 Great Breton. The books are set in Glace Bay Crate. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The books! Grab and go kind of girl. What does that even mean? Okay. Hey, yeah, you have a consent to mention her in a video? I sure the heck do. Nope. I do. Nope. Get out! Like, what? That sounds, what? <laughs> it sounds ex <laughs> like, <laughs> ah, I can't talk! That sounds, so, what was I going to say? You completely threw me off. Um. I'm drinking. Look at Carl.